Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I came up with another video on JMN on campus placement. Round 1 technical questions which is for 5 LPM. In my previous video I have already explained you about round 1 aptitude questions. In this video we are going to see technical questions. Right? Before that if you are new to the channel please do subscribe, share and like my videos. If already a subscriber please hit a like so that it motivates me to do more and more videos for you. See this is the ratio between not subscribed and subscribed people consider subscribe to, subscribing to my channel if you feel these videos as worthy. Right let us going into the video. Technical questions will be in this format. Okay what will be the output of the following Java program. Okay. String x is pqr. x dot to upper case and string y is equals to x dot replace and in this way you got the some pseudo code and given options and the correct answer is pqr123 now let us see the explanation for it see first they have given string x is equals to pqr the variable x is initialized with the string pqr okay when x dot to uppercase means this line calls to uppercase method on x however java strings are immutable this method returns new string pqr but the new string is not assigned to any variable therefore x remains pqr okay they are immutable even though to uppercase means uh, pqr may change to capital pqr but it is not assigned to x so x remains as pqr now string y is equals to x to dot replace q uh, capital Q with small q. Now a variable y is created and the replace method is called on x pqr. This method is case sensitive. Since there is no upper uppercase q in pqr, no replacement occurs and y is assigned to the value pqr. See what they are saying. Uh, they are asking you to replace capital Q with small q. Actually, the x is small pqr. So, there is no capital Q in order to replace with small q. So, the x remains small pqr only. Okay. Now, this is assigned to the variable y. So, y is also a, uh, have pqr variable with that. Now, y is equals to y plus 1, 2, 3. This is string not a number see see the double quotation marks 1 2 3 is a string is concatenated to the current value of y pqr so y becomes a pqr 1 2 3 okay this is not addition it is concatenation that to 1 2 3 is a string okay now system dot y dot print ln y means this prints the value of y which is pqr 1 2 3 so the correct option is a pqr 1 2 3 i hope you got with the explanation see strings are immutable whether you are telling two lower case two upper case also it is not assigned to the variable x so variable x remains pqr now here replace capital q with a small q there is no capital q only then how can it replace with small q so x remains small pqr only and it is assigned to y variable pqr now here 1 2 3 is a string and it is concatenated to y that is pqr 1 2 3 at last it is asking you to print then what is the output pqr 1 2 3 right yeah, i hope you got with this question if you want have a screenshot you will receive a pseudo codes from different languages java c plus plus python javascript you will receive that type of pseudo codes you have to answer it right in technical questions technical questions are mixture of dbms os and pseudo codes from python cp javascript c plus plus and everything and it will ask about you everything okay this is from the oops concept under which concepts of oops does the base class and derived class relationship occur okay inheritance only in inheritance concepts the child class will inherit the properties from the base class see inheritance is the correct answer 
inheritance in an oops concept where a derived child class inherits properties and behavior methods and variables from the base parent class it allows code reusability and establishes parent child relationship between the classes you also get the questions from oops concepts java python what not everything and dbms sql queries also okay each individual will receive different type of questions okay and prepare well in that way and this is the sql swap queries question with which of the following statements can sql sub queries be used okay all of the above see sub query is a query nested inside and the query what they're asking with which of the following statement can a sql sub queries be used these all helps for a sql sub queries see select to filter results based on the other query we use select word in order to select something or in order to filter results and update to update the rows based upon the values from another table insert to insert a data retrieved by another query so all of the above are used for the sql sub queries and mainly in this technical round you will get questions from pseudo style questions in java python javascript cpp and and then the one also and what will be the output of the python pseudo code it will ask like this also print plus uh, in quotations you will in options they will give you options but the correct option is syntax error is not a valid operation in python as plus cannot be used directly with a string without a number do you think it is a string as yes, it is a string it is an empty string so empty string or strings cannot directly used or plus is di cannot directly used with the strings that is what it is telling plus cannot be used directly with a string without a number okay so in this way you are going to receive pseudo codes dbms questions sql queries also and this is the question which i faced during my exam in jmn okay console dot log plus um, empty string output is zero see console dot log unary operation plus operator tries to convert it to operand into the number and it is a space character which is uh, 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 connect to a number becomes zero hence evaluates to zero console dot log plus prints zero so the output is zero see here console dot log whereas here print plus this one there is a differentiation between them okay be careful while reading the things also that is why i have given an example for you this way okay and this is another question system dot out dot print ln fun hello comma three now the output is l o okay hello dot substring three removes the first three characters h e l so the output remaining is l o okay i hope you got it right right let us going into the other question if you want have a screenshot and find the value of y of 1 after execution of the following program okay now it is a program okay right and y is an array with the elements 0 2 4 1 3 okay now it it has a for loop okay now it is a, a function and it is asking you to print a of 1 okay a of 1 right a of 1 now here we are here we are right now let us consider here let us consider here a of i means a of 1 e of 1 means what it is zero based index right so e of 1 is what 2 right e of 1 is what 2 now 2 here here 2 2 plus 3 how much 5 right 2 plus 3 how much 5 5 modulo divided by a dot length a dot length is what 5 5 modulo divided by 5 okay what how much 5 modulo divided by 5 how much can you tell Uh, okay, five modulo divided by five is what you have to consider the modulo division means you have to consider remainder. Okay, zero. Okay, now a of zero is what zero. Now a of zero is placed in this. So 
the answer is zero. Check here the options. It is given a dot length is equals to five. Now step by step verification I have not done, but you can do it. See, a of one means two. 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 modulo division by a of length is 5 by 5 is 0 because uh, modulo division right 5 by 5 and 5 ones are 5 means at last remainder is 0. So a of 0, what is a of 0 is 0, a of 0 is stored d here in a of 1. So a of 1 has 0. So a of 1 means 0, a is option, option a is correct one. Okay, so that is the thing. If you want, you can do and put it in comment section. And if you feel this video is very informative, please hit a like and share my videos with your friends. And do like. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you.